1998 Lincoln sent with wide AM on the reverse. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS. This interesting variety was produced using the wide AM reverse hub that was intended for use in striking proof 1998s Lincoln sense. According to Stax Bowers, a glowing pinkish rose superb gem with a full strike and nary a distracting blemish to either side. It was sold for $724.50. 1989 D. Lincoln cent struck on a pre-1983 cent planchet. An elusive mint error with weight of 3.1 grams. Graded as MS65 read by PCGS. This is easily one of the most intriguing mint errors that we have handled in recent memory. The smooth, satiny surfaces retain full pinkish rose luster and the strike is full. A few swirls of very slightly variegated color along the lower right reverse border might explain why PCGS did not assign an even higher numeric grade. In 1982, the United States Mint changed the metallic composition of the small scent from 95% copper, 5% zinc to copper-plated zinc. The core of the latter composition is 99.2% zinc, 8% copper with a plating of pure copper. This seldom encountered penny fetched a sum of $3,525. 1965 Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a truly astounding example, notable for its superior preservation and remarkable patina. The toning is dynamic and jewel-like, glowing with blended shades of iridescent antique gold, powder blue and salmon pink that sees the most vivid colors confined to the peripheries. The surfaces are intensely lustrous with a fully frosted, silky smooth texture. It ended up selling for $9,000. 1942 Jefferson Nickel. Type 1 dye variety. Graded as PR68 plus by NGC. This silky smooth example shimmers with a delightful satin to modestly reflective finish and displays a veritable sunset of color at the peripheries easing into the centers on both sides. The Type 1 does not have a P-Mint mark. While the Type 2 silver does have a P-Mint mark. Both coins have similar mintages. The 1942 Type 1 proof Jefferson nickel can be easily obtained up to about PR66 condition. PR68 plus specimens like this one are considered rare. It was sold for $3,600. 1921 Lincoln cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by NGC. This Philadelphia issue is among the more plentiful early dates in the Lincoln Scent series, although full red specimens are conditionally rare at the superb gem level. This piece is tied with one other for finest at NGC. Central strike sharpness is outstanding, while only slight weakness is seen around the rims due to dye fatigue. Satiny copper gold and orange hues adorn each side. It was sold for $3,120. 1949 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over S. Graded in Mint State 67 FS by PCGS. FS standing for full steps. A beautiful superb gem, iridescent champagne apricot toning blends with billowy mint luster. Impressively full in striking detail, both sides are also expertly preserved and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. Writing in the 6th edition, Volume 1 of the Cherry Picker's Guide, Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton have this to say about the 1949 D-S nickel. This variety is quite rare in Mint State and highly sought after. Were the author speaking only of superb gems such as this, the more appropriate description would be very rare. This five-cent piece ended up selling for $18,000. 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a 90% silver planchet. Graded as AU53 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, brilliant silver surfaces with a bit of light wear from a short time in circulation prior to it being noticed as something special and saved. Pleasing for the grade with no serious marks. A popular transitional wrong planchet error that is the result of an old standard 90% silver planchet intended for the coinage of 1964 getting into the production cycle for the 1965 coins that were to be struck on the new copper nickel clad blanks. It was sold for $7,050. 1910 Lincoln cent. Sharply and richly colored proof penny. Graded as PR66 plus read by NGC. Broad, squared rims and fine matte surface texture leave no doubt as to this coin's proof origins. Each side displays deep pumpkin orange color and is devoid of bothersome abrasions. A loop reveals a few tiny specks on each side, particularly on the reverse. It was sold for $2,760. 1960 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. This is a condition census example of the 1960 Washington Quarter, being tied with four other plus graded superb gems for the second finest at PCGS as of December 2023. Expectedly satiny luster characterizes each side, with lemon gold border toning and a few russet flecks. The strike is sharp, and neither side exhibits bothersome abrasions. 
It was sold for $1,560. 1962 Franklin Half Dollar with Full Bell Lines. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1962 Franklin Half Dollar is collectible with Full Bell Lines, although such coins are conditionally scarce in MS-66 and unknown numerically finer. This lustrous, frosty example displays virtually pristine surfaces and sharp definition. Ivory white luster yields tinges of olive gold toning in the margins. It was sold for $7,500. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded in Mint State 64 Brown by PCGS. Die Pair 2. The second two in the date is sharp on this die pair, and the reverse wheat ears are crisp, a product of a new die. The No D. coins from Die Pair 2 are highly sought after and rare in high grade. This satiny walnut brown example displays modest luster and is well struck. Softness on Lincoln's portrait is due to the erosion of the obverse die. This is one of the most prominent guide book varieties in the series. It is often collected as a separated issue from the normal mint mark issue, even though both varieties were struck at Denver. This specimen fetched a sum of $31,200. 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel. Highly sought after repunched mint mark variety, D over horizontal D. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. This well-struck gem boasts a lovely champagne rose luster. A very nice piece, and among the finest certified for an issue that is rare even in lower mint state grades. Important find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel Collector. It was sold for $8,050. 1946 S quarter dollar with magnificent toning. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. This dazzling MS-68 example of an early post-war San Francisco issue combines high technical grade and eye-appealing charm. Delicately frosted high points give way to rolling cartwheel luster through the fields. Blue to gray overtones dominate the interiors, while the margins show gold to reddish-orange patina, those hues covering more of the reverse. A minuscule curving scrape to the left of the eagle's beak is one of the few post-striking faults visible to the unaided eye, and that only with searching. It ended up selling for $11,400. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Got any of these coins? Share your stories below. Until next time, happy collecting!